Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another Loan Pro video quick tip. What are five things not to do when trying to get approved for a mortgage? Recently we discussed what you should do during the mortgage application process, but in today's video I will share advice of what not to do in order to help keep your financing from falling off the tracks. However, if you have a qualifying question or a loan approval that is experiencing trouble, Remember that I started the company way back in 2001, so let our experience be a resource for you and take advantage of our second opinion service, which can be a great way to help keep your mortgage approval headed in the right direction. As the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and many of the issues that we encounter are unfortunately self-inflicted. So let's take a moment and go over some of the more common mistakes we see so you can be prepared to avoid them before they become an unintended consequence. First off, do not apply for credit. It can be common to receive invitations for credit cards, furniture stores, electronics, appliances, and the list goes on and on. But simply put, do not respond to these offers, as any additional inquiries can be a factor towards lowering your credit score. With minimum credit score requirements being so critical, you don't want to put yourself in a position where one point can lead to your loan application being denied. Next, we will review charge-offs and collections. While this may sound like the complete opposite of what you should do, whenever you make a payment on a negative account, such as a charge-off or collection, depending on the date that account last reported to the credit bureaus, any additional payment can have the impact of updating the most recent activity on that negative account, which can turn an old problem into a new concern. While sometimes paying off negative accounts may be required for loan approval, with our credit expertise, we can provide the proper advice so you know the pros and cons before you make the payment. Increasing balances on your credit cards is one of the fastest ways to bring your credit score down. So make sure to not go on a spending spree in anticipation of your loan closing and keep those credit card balances in check. Next on the list, do not close out credit card accounts. Closing out a credit card can have an immediate negative impact on your score because you are eliminating available credit which can impact that all-important ratio between your credit card amount owed and your available credit limit. And finally, do not make unexplained deposits into your bank accounts. Underwriting guidelines can be very strict when it comes to verifying deposits and the source of where they come from, regardless of the amounts, so be prepared to document any deposits, including those tough-to-verify cash deposits. In summary, while this is not an all-inclusive list of what not to do during the mortgage approval process, just remember to be proactive and ask questions so you can be in the know in how any decisions can impact your financing. As always, I want to thank everyone for the continued recommendations and trusting us with all of your mortgage needs, whether it be FHA, VA, USDA, or conventional. Just call or email to discuss your scenario and let us show you the Metroplex difference. I want everyone to make it a great day and look forward to seeing you right here for the next tip of the week.